I don't think I'm even gonna take a picture. <laughs> All right, you here with Mission Tristan. Today we are doing the road to Hana. We are checking it out. I'm here with the boys. Boys, say hi. What up? Yeah. Um, we started off at, what's the name of this waterfall? Twin Waterfall. Twin Waterfall. Wicked disappointing so far. Um, you can probably swim in there nice, but definitely not jumping around this area. It's very tiny. Uh, it was 10 bucks for the parking lot. It was super full already at 9 a.m., which is you know, not really surprising. But uh, it's a long road with a lot to do, so we're hoping to find some better things on. We're gonna check the upper falls, see how that goes. And rocking around in a blue Mustang, whips ready, or possibly a yellow buggy. I'm not sure. Let's just take the yellow Mustang, though. <laughs> we, we all we got racing fire. Fuck yeah, you did. <laughs> Top down, let's roll. Let's go. second hike <laughs> all right this is our super hardcore hike this this 17 percent incline <laughs> yeah just uh looking at the competition out here man it's getting tough <laughs> damn damn look, look look at that squad up there they're fucking crushing us <laughs> all right after our brutal I'm free to like, we're hitting some crowded sections. I'm thinking we must be here. Uh, Nils is uh, pretty tired. He was complaining about the heat. So I was laughing at him because the man goes to war in Afghanistan, but he can't handle a shaded walk. <laughs> right, that was our big crossing right there. That's our final piece. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And that's our waterfall. I guess they're the twins. Hey, pretty chill. Pretty chill. You like, you like in like the environment or the color, the temperature of the water. I, I would thought it was nice because when we stepped in it, we had to cross. It was like, oh, this is very tolerable, like not cold, very doable. Now we're in the shade though. Anyway, we walked about mm, maybe 10 minutes to get it here. It was really easy overall. It's a nice little swim spot, but I thought this place kind of, it's kind of lame. It was like, I, I think like it's more super like tourist driven and it's like it's very achievable for everyone so that's nice if you have like a group or like maybe come with your folks or something like very achievable but uh but i don't know that i would say this is worth it for the hiker in you okay so on review the water was a bit chilly not, not really cold but like a little bit chilly because it's in the shade in this section there's no sun hitting it um definitely not an area that you can cliff jump because the water's too shallow for that height um plus i don't think there's a section where you're supposed to go up around but um the waterfall itself was like hey you swim under it no problem no worries it's like peacefully powerful um it was a nice little section but there's a little fish nipping at you uh just clean your feet i guess um yeah fun place to spend a, a little bit uh, and a good start on the road to Hana because it's relatively early on it. When you're crushing all my dreams and you're making me so fool. I know what I, I know what I'm supposed to do.
Oh yeah, we got some beautiful rainbow eucalyptus. Look at this. That's so good. I know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> cool. So we're going through the bamboo forest now. Watch out, <laughs> you really killed Nando, my bad. Um, as we just popped over from the eucalyptus trees, beautiful, and down into this little tunnel to get to the bamboo forest and see the waterfalls, and I'm already loving this. This is just like super cool environment. I mean, totally surrounded, climbing through bamboo, seeing beautiful waterfalls, and it's just a like little dip off the side of the road. Um, so I like a lot more than the kind of like, you know, touristy, like commercialized version of the, the twin waterfalls that we stopped at earlier. Uh, I'm having a great time. It's so fucking cool. We're just like dipping in and out of bamboo, weaving, watching water running, watching Nando struggle. <laughs> You're not having grown up with so much bamboo in my life. It's really cool and it, it's, it's very different to force. Like I, I noticed. You know, I did a lot of hanging out in pine forests and things like that. And then when I like got through um, Colorado and doing Aspen forests, it was very different. And what I like about the bamboo forest is very different amounts of the density and it kind of changes the environment. So it's really dense and really closed in. It's, it's, it's not like an oppressive closed in like where you feel claustrophobic, but it's really quiet and it, it, like it's a place of solitude. And then it kind of opens and you hear the roar of the water. I don't know, man, this is just super cool. Look at that happy boy. Happy boy, get some food, get some banana bread. We got some happy Buddha. Boop. I don't know where we're gonna fly. You do it sometimes. Seeing eyes of mine. Love, love, love. I wanna be strong, strong. We're doing wrong, wrong, wrong. But I'll try and to fix it. A fucking cool little turn around the corner here. But uh, I don't know if I'd call it a red sand beach. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Nice, there it is. That's cool. Yo, this is pretty nice. Yeah, boy.